What's going on YouTube? It's Dark Lord Destro. I'm sitting inside my car. Um, I'm in my hometown and my folks are in bed asleep, so I figure I come out here and uh, have a little chat with you all. You know, this is a response to King Havo's uh, video where he addresses the Sim community because uh, you know, people are people a little bothered that uh, he's now decided to ask for donations for his editor. Now, if you recall from my last video, my real talk session, is that, you know, I have been talking to Havo. This, this conversation came up two months ago. And, yeah, he's in the same mindset, he has the same mindset as I do. So you're putting in all this hard work, and it's like, well, what's, what's, what's the point, you know, or what's the, what's the you know, why? You, you wonder if you're wasting your time, you know? And, you know, I know when I create rosters for my site, I didn't have the intentions of, oh, well, I want to create this site because uh, I want to make money or create these teams want to make money. You know, I appreciate Big Play Killer donating me some money, Alan JD donating some money and whatnot. Um, and do the hexing part, you know, uh, you know, TJ Speece, he donated uh, money for me to purchase the PS3 to hex for the SFL and whatnot. So, you know, those you know, three contributed. But, you know, when it comes to Havo's editor, you know, it's, you know, some of us have donated. Uh, one person has donated $125. Myself and somebody else has donated 70 I plan on donating more in the future, near future. And these people who are asking for the editor... I know you haven't donated a dime. And I know some of you, I've, I said, well, can you spot the man a few bucks? Oh, nah, dog, I don't got I don't got it all, really. So you can go to McDonald's and Panera Bread every day, and I know right then there, a drink, a sandwich, and some fries, or a salad is $10. So you mean tell me you can't spot someone $10? You know? And, and so... When it comes to this Hexen thing, you know, this is, he, he's made the job easy for you all. You know, he's used the research. I know that he used some from uh, NFL Hitman, something. And a lot of his work is from research from my, you know, stuff I discovered, you know, discovering play action motions, throwing motions, where the year pros uh, are located. You know, all the little things that I discovered, he saw my notes. And he put it inside the editor. He made it easy so that you don't have to do what I do. It's going to the hex code and looking at a bunch of letters and numbers and have to decipher that stuff. He made it easy. He made drop down menus. You know, I don't have those skills. He's a programmer. So you know what? I'll put in the work to research. Havo can do the um do the uh, the really the hard work is programming. And he's done that. And at this point now, I pretty much can't find anything else. He has the programming knowledge. He's discovering new things. And he's put a place inside the editor. It's a it's beneficial not just for you know me, not just the SFL, but if you're planning on making an NFL team or a roster, or what have you, for offline purposes, then it works out. If you say you love All Pro 2K8 and you want to play that every year and you say that it's better than Madden, that you would rather play 2K8 than play the newest version of Madden, then put your money where your mouth is. Because your because your your actions is what tells the truth. You know, you can tell me, oh, well, I love 2K, 2K all day, but your actions don't tell me. Because if your actions said it, then you be in SFL watching their games, be 50 some people in there each and every broadcast. You will be also donating to Hobble because you will want for some want him to continue on to, to squeeze more blood out of this, out of squeeze more blood out of the rock, meaning try to discover more things with All Pro to where we can still continue to play this game and extend the life of it since the game's almost nine years old. But you know, you you, you guys don't you don't do that, and this is where I've pretty much almost lost my. Uh, Motivation to create more teams. You know, I made a 91 Falcons for a guy, you know, 
uh, if you know who came on my Lord Destro Productions page on Facebook, and you know I created the team for him and whatnot, and you know I didn't. You know he didn't bother me. He didn't pester me. He just kept reminding me on occasion. You know I did it, but other than that, it's like, well, what's the point? I started creating a a master list. What I was going to do is create every single NFL, but with uh, the with the help of Doctor Sim eighty. Him and I was going to come up with a master file to where we would do all the uniforms for all um, 32 teams and put it in our own little APF uniforms dot our INI file. And we was going to pass it around to where, you know, you don't have to create NFL teams because, or keep create the uniform because it will already be set. You just replaced our file with the current file that's inside of resources uh, folder, replace it, boom. Your folders are already there, and we would have pictures along with it to where you even have a picture attached to it, so where you know what the uniforms would look like before you take the roster file back to um, the Xbox. And I've done what half the league. Doctor Sim was started to do it. I don't, think got, I don't think he never got around to it, but you know what? I'm not going to pass him about it because at this point, it's like I really don't give a damn. Why should I put in the work? You know, all you can do is get a phone call on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day on Skype like I did, asking about rosters, and I ain't get one dollar. And and not only that, but then when I'm helping a guy, out, he's like, "Well, yeah, I wanna, I wanna change this and change that." No, I made those, I made the team the way it's supposed to be. I put in the work. I watch film, game film on YouTube, and I do research on the team. I put in the work. There's no need to alter the daggone team. It's already done. And half of y'all care, I'm sorry, majority of y'all can't make a uniform to save your life anyway. So, you know, don't meddle with stuff. And, but, he's right. And then I looked at Neff1, you know, read his comments. You know, it, this community doesn't appreciate anything. You know, he made Roger for Madden and people want to, like he said on the Sim Standard Radio Show one time, people want to grab his stuff, flip it, and change it around, and claim that as theirs. I don't appreciate anything, and and I I knew how I was frustration because as he was telling me this, it was just ironic because I was feeling the same thing. Here I am, I just unhexed the entire SFL for Xbox and PS3. I got people asking me for um to do teams, which I don't mind. But then I got cats on Hivo's uh, website that are um that are asking for help. And then since I don't respond in four or five hours later, they're like, "Well, Destro, uh, I text you, I left a mess for you um a few hours ago. How come you haven't yet to respond?" It's like, "Hold on, fool." Last time I checked, 2K Sports or you do not pay my bills. And so I work 55, 60 hours a week sometimes. And so, yes, I didn't respond back in four or five hours. You know why? Because the brother was working. That's why. And I'm not going to respond in four or five hours if I'm at work because 2K Sports does not pay my bills or you. So, you know, don't get it twisted. And the way I see it was happening, uh, you know, soon, so I'm switching jobs and moving to one state to another, I think my hexing days are pretty much gone. If it's not SFL related, then pretty much my hexing uh, days are pretty much over. And so I will still do uh, beta testing for the editor for Hivo the, the test things out. But, you know. A lot of you cats are, just aren't worthy. You're not worthy of this editor. And that may sound kind of selfish. I might be sounding a little conceited. That's just the downright truth. You're not worthy of the hammer of Thor. You're not worthy of the power. First of all, you won't be able to do the teams right. You can't do the teams right. You lack knowledge. Your uniform looks like hot garbage on a cold day. And number three, you're just half acid. And so, yes... I am turned to the Dark Lord. You're just not worthy with it. And you can get smart. You can leave your little nasty ass comments uh, on, on your uh, on your on on the page. I don't give a damn. But I'm just keeping it real, 100 right now. And so I appreciate some of the SFL owners have uh, recently donated to Havo. I appreciate um, everyone who has donated um, to. 
Havo. Even if it's five, ten dollars, the man's not asking for, um, to pay his bills. You know. So, like I said, I've donated seventy. I plan on donating more. So, I'm going to end it with that because, you know, I'm just rambling on at this point and I may get real ignorant on here and I don't think anyone wants that to happen. So, like I said, I'll close it with this. If you're all about all pro football 2K, then you need to support it. No if, ifs, ands, buts about it. And put your money where your mouth is. You donate. You know? I'm sorry, it's tax season. $10 ain't going to hurt. 20 ain't going to hurt. You making these rosters? You want to make legit NFL teams? You want to do this? Then take care of my mans. I'm in it like that. Peace.